All right, we're looking at the solar eclipse. It looks like it's about 15% maybe. That's just my guess. Maybe 20. It's going to go up to 85. It looks like the moon is about 30% maybe. It is now 619. On Sunday, May 20th. On Sunday, May 20th. It should get up to about 85% in about 20 minutes. Can you see it? There's the moon and the sun. Yeah. See it? The moon. Yeah, the moon. 6.32, no sorry, 6.36 and 30 seconds right now, according to my watch. Okay. So this is the iPhone stuck inside a pinhole camera tube, looking at the eclipse. That's the peak. Alright, here we are looking inside my tube. It is 6.38, the peak of the eclipse. I'm covering up the hole so we get maximum contrast on that image. Now we've got the moon moving away. Didn't quite get to 100%, but of course that's because we are in Claremont, California, just outside of Los Angeles. Here, I'm going to stick my fingers in. Hello! This is the eclipse. Okay, I'll show everybody the picture. Here's what you do. You take two mailing tubes. You tape them together to make one long tube. At the end of one tube, you put a rubber band and some tin foil and put a tiny pinhole in the end, right in the middle. The other end, you seal off with the, with the tube container and you want to make sure there's no light getting in. So if, you, if the end of your railing tube is a plastic that lets light in, I put some duct tape over it to make it nice and dark. Put a little hole out at the side so that you can look through and see the image yourself. And I also cut a little gap just to pin the iPhone right inside so that the camera is inside the tube, not looking directly at the pinhole, but looking at the image that's being projected on the back of the tube. And then because the back of the tube, the hold the back of the tube is letting in so much light. You can just use your hand to cover up the hole. You get a nice bright eclipse image. On video. Using the iPhone 4. Thanks everyone for watching my experiment using the iPhone and a couple of mailing tubes to cover the eclipse. And uh, it was a lot of fun and um, we'll see you again in five years. 2017 will be the next eclipse in this area anyway. Alright, 